Hi guys, uh, E3 Locks here. I'm just going to show you a different way of drilling out a cylinder. Uh, some of you might know this already, uh, but most people when they think of drilling the cylinder, they go into the shear line here, drill it all out, destroy the lock, get the burrs in there, big screwdriver, forcing the plug round, honing it, trying to hone it out more and more with uh, the drill bit. Uh, not a pretty sight really, but uh, <coughs> I want to show you a different way of doing it. What I've got is a Yale here, just a normal Yale. Uh, there's a key of impression for it. So you can see it's working. Uh, just got a normal, another key in there now. Just here. And, uh, <coughs> now, what I've got is a specially prepared blank. And basically, what I've done is I've cut the back of it off so I can actually get the drill right up in front. So, all I'm going to be using is a 1.4mm drill bit. Uh, hence the reason I need to get the drill right up close to it that I've taken all the bow off the key. <clears throat> all right, my drill point is going to be exactly one, I'll put that in, one key blank high above the top of the key. So that gives me the bottom of the A of Yale, and it's the, coming up vertically, it's bang on the corner of it. So if I put the key all the way in, now with Yale's, the very end pin sits on the end of the key, so when you hit the end pin, the key can pop out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a bit of tape on it, just to keep that in place. If you're out on a warrant, you can get your warrant officer to put his finger there like that if you want. Oh, it's split, sorry. There's only a bit of silly packing tape, but just enough to just keep the key there. Now, the, the idea of the drill is you have to do it in one go. You, you have to go, literally go boom, all the way through without pulling back at all. Okay, now, I should have centre punched it, but uh, I'm going to be a cowboy. Just do it. So it's a corner of the A, got the drill on high speed, and as I say, we're going to go all the way through in one go without stopping. Good. Should, that should put me to the back of the lock. Now the idea now is to leave the drill bit in place. Take your blank out. And hopefully now, with anything that should just turn, that's all the, actually, G35. It should now just turn with all the pins being in the bottom chamber. What you're doing is all the, the top pins are being held in position. Yeah, I'm not going too far enough. There you go. So that's open now. So there's your lock open now. Yeah. You've got your access. Right, you're now going to leave the premises. So now going to take the drill bit out. Okay, the drill bit. Try and flush it all out so we've got the uh, about then where's my original key? Original key. Okay, that works. Fine. Put in uh, a wrong key. So original key again. Looks fine. Wrong key, blank key, works, right key again, and it works. So all you've literally done is a 1.4mm hole there, and if you wanted to uh, cover that, you could, and uh, 
so you've left the lock still working and you've had none of the aggro of normally drilling out a cylinder. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers.